<laughs> Welcome in day two with group two. Look at these amazing young women. And how are you all doing? Because you, we just saw your introductions and a little bit of your beauty with a purpose. So we are a bit curious. What else you have for us? Who are you and how are you doing, Linda? Well, I'm doing fine, actually. Uh, I had a long journey today. It was an early evening, morning, <laughs> early morning. Uh, yeah, but fine. Good, actually. Fabienne? I'm also good, actually. Um, I had a long week with my, with, my, uh, with my work, but now I'm free. Did you have an accident with your truck? Yeah, you saw it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to hear about that after this. Robbie, how yes. are you doing? Thank you, I'm fine. I have a busy week because I am uh, on Roosing, the Rehabilitation Center. So I have uh, physiotherapy, creative therapy, swimming, fitness, uh, and also more. So uh, I'm going fine. <laughs> Thank you. I have a good week. Thank you. Um, we are going to shoot uh, next week for Lifters Health. So I'm very glad we can do that. And my friend uh, just came around from the US, so I'm very happy to see her after two years. So oh, yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Alisa, normally you are in group three, and because some of your sisters can't make it, you are now in group two. Yes, that's right. Um, so welcome. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> but I have uh, a lot of. Uh, good uh, girls next to me, so I think it uh, will be fine. We're yeah. going to support you too. Yes. Thank you. yes. <laughs> One big family. Yes. yes. Girls, I want to know some fun facts about you. Ruby, tell me, do you have a fun fact to know? Um, I am very perfectionist. -ies. Okay. Sometimes good and sometimes not. That I am very sportive. I am uh, at the fitness five times a week. Wow. Yes. Okay, so you're going to take the sports title this year? I hope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fabienne, fun fact about you. Um, I am the fun fact, no. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Fun fact. I know one. Oh, you know one. You drive the truck. Where is it from? I think so, because you just hit another one uh, this No, week. I didn't hit anybody. <laughs> the bus hit my car. Uh, I, I stand with uh, the car, standing on the bus. With uh, the truck, right? Yeah, with the truck. Yeah, with, uh, my, you have the truck and you have the, the one is behind. I don't know the English word for it, but you know what I mean. And I uh, set him on the, on the driveway. And he was standing by himself and I was standing there with the truck. And the bus come and about like 10 buses more past the, 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 the truck and then yeah go too yeah too fast to, to the right and she hit him and she drive forward and yeah it was the whole bus was damaged. This was not my fault. You can all check that on social media. Okay, on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Follow on me on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Fabienne. Linda, fun fact about you. Uh, I'm quite a uh, I'm a workaholic. I work 40 hours uh, on the side with school and uh, well, on the weekends I'm busy as well with Miss World so I don't actually have free time but yeah, it's fun to do. Okay, thank you. Alicia, fun fact about you. Uh, fun fact about me, um, I can draw very good um, and I think that's yeah, a little bit of a talent and I really like to do that but I'm very busy with work so I don't have a lot of time to paint but um, to paint and draw um, but maybe uh, yeah that's uh, that's good to know about me yeah, yeah <laughs> nice thank you so much Iris yeah uh, I think maybe because uh, I think the fun fact is that I have adopted Bella one year ago from the shelter from Portugal and a few years before that, we uh, also found a dog on the street and we wanted to adopt her as well and called her Bella. But then we lost her uh, during the trip and after that we found our own Bella. So that's maybe oh. a fun fact. 
Also, a fun fact about Iris is it's the second time for Miss World Netherlands. It is as yeah. well, because of Bella also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to be back. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to have you back. Thank you. So, um, you all have been ambassador to the United Nations of the Netherlands. And in this trajectory, we have the SDGs, right? And you have your beauty with a purpose linked to that. Tell me something about that. Robbie. Yes, uh, my beauty with a purpose is uh, insecurity through social media. It's linked by SDG 10 and SDG 16. That's peace, justice and uh, politic. So, um, have I tell something about it? or? You can I? tell something about your beauty, beauty with a purpose, yes, of course. Um, at this time, uh, insecurity through social media is a uh, subject. What uh, about Corona? It is. Yes, my SDG is about SDG 5, about... Uh, I've got Gen it Gen Gen <laughs> Gen <laughs> Gen <laughs> Gen I You, you. you. <laughs> Again, uh, my SDG is about SDG 5, about gender equality. Uh, my beauty with a purpose is about women empowerment, so it suits very well, I guess. So that's my beauty with a purpose. And about. what are you going to do with the, 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 the campaign and your project? I started on social media my campaign, I am by Iris van der Mars. And I want to show that Picture Perfect does not exist uh, because of photo, uh, Photoshop and filters. Everyone is showing the wrong picture, not the real picture. So I want to show, uh, for instance, a picture with or without a filter and with or without Photoshop. And uh, I want to bring awareness that everyone is beautiful as they are, no matter what your size is, your gender, your color. I think it's important for now for the teenagers on social media. Yeah, I, I think not only for the teenagers. Yeah, for everyone. For everyone, yes. right. Okay. Alicia, tell me about your beauty with a purpose. Yes, uh, my beauty with a purpose is poverty. Um, and that's linked to SDG1. Um, and yeah, I'm, uh, I'm collecting uh, some stuff uh, these days. Um, I also uh, had a connection with uh, the Armoede Fonds. Um, that's uh, one big place where they collect stuff um, and send to people uh, who need it. Um, and there you picked one which is very important. Yes, yes. Can you tell us that? Yes, of course. I, I've picked the subject um, of uh, poverty uh, for women. Um, because the menstrual care, yes. right? Yes, yeah. that's right. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, I've collected 200, 215 uh, pads and tampons uh, for uh, women uh, who need this. Um, and I'm doing... A Amazing a that, that this is possible in the Netherlands. Yes. Because we are known as a welfare country. That's right. And there are more than 20,000 women who cannot afford so to go and pay and get the menstrual Materials. needs. Yes, that's right. Yes, and it's unbelievable for for women, um, uh, yeah, to see other women uh, without uh, these stuffs. And um, mostly of the time, you don't even know they have that that problem. No. Um, yeah. Because they hide it, right? Yes. And even children, young, young women, very young women, children. Yes, it makes me a little bit sad. Um, but, uh, yeah, it also makes me stronger to do something about it. Did you know before you started Beauty with a Purpose that this was going no. on in the Netherlands? No, um, I already knew that uh, poverty was one of the biggest problems around the whole world, not only in the Netherlands, but um, specifically on that subject, I didn't know it. You did yeah. not expect no. it, right? No. no. Very good that you picked that one. Yes. Uh, my uh, Beauty with a Purpose is gender equality and economic rights. Uh, why gender quality? Um, because I'm also a truck driver and it's a men, men's world and I don't know why it's a men's world because girls can also stand there, her men, and that's why I choose it because it's ne uh, nearby me and it's easy to speak about it and also a little bit of ambassador for the girl truck drivers. I was on TV and I'm going to ambassador 
that are more truck drivers on girl truck drivers that are more going to be. It's normal. What we do, your job you do it. Doesn't matter if you uh, you want to be a truck driver or you want to help some people. Also, men can help some people. Mm -hmm. Not only a woman job. Very good. Thank you. We will see more about you very soon. Linda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your beauty with a purpose. Um, my beauty with a purpose uh, is helping the lonely elderly. Uh, it's uh, connected to SDG three. Uh, good health and well-being. Uh, I chose this because um, my mother works in a uh, nursing home and there are a lot of uh, people, of uh, old people, who don't have children who come. Uh, and so they are lonely? Very yeah. lonely. And especially the, the ones with dementia. Uh, and I think it's very sad and it's not only a problem in that nursing home, but like in, in the whole country, uh, and especially during COVID, uh, yeah. Yeah, during the lockdown, they couldn't see anyone, right? No, and uh, most of the nursing homes went to code uh, black, uh, which is actually that the doors are locked and nobody gets can, can go can in and can go out. Yeah. yeah. Very good project. I'm looking forward to seeing lots more of that, Linda. Thank you so much. Roby, yes. tell us about your beauty with a purpose. My beauty with a purpose is uh, uh, <laughs> insecurity through social media. It's linked by SDG 10 and 16. Um, it's about uh, during the corona pandemic, uh, the uh, young ambitious women uh, have, uh, are going so much on social media and they give a uh, get so much negative messages about uh, how uh, her body is, how her, yeah, how perfect she is. And um, yeah, nobody is perfect and I want to Certainly help them. Certainly not. <laughs> yes, and I want to help the people with the struggles of uh, perfectionism and insecurity through social media. And I also have that, and I have a dis uh, eating disorder um, for a long time. Um, I have learned that you... Um, <laughs> accept you yourself as you are. Yeah, accept yeah. yourself as who you are. You are perfect. So... Um, You're perfect with your inside. Yes, outside. yes, and um, I want to. Uh, you want to um, be a role model. Yeah. yeah, be a role model for all the uh, women that uh, you want have to show this problem, and um, I also have it, and I grow up with it, and. Um, you overcame your fears, right? Yes. It's very course. powerful. Yes. And... Um, yes, <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, ladies. Also. You did a very good job. I'm very proud of you. And we're all going to follow you for your beauty with a purpose. Your campaigns, your projects. Just begin with yourself and the other one will follow. Right? Welcome back. We have also a subject for you ladies that you got yesterday. And that one is tourism. And what a beautiful country we have. The Netherlands counts 137 cultures. Amazing. And we all live together with respect most of the time. And we have so much things to do and to see. Tell me something about the Netherlands and the tourism. What what can I do here? Uh, I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Fabiana, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's linked. Tourism and uh, culture is linked um, because tourists come to the Netherlands because of the culture. And I think the most of the culture of the Netherlands is like the, the uh, coconut garden. With all the tulips and <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's not you're going to watch for the kitchens, but um, and also the Giethoorn and the uh, Smolens in Engels. 
windmills. And also the windmills. And the cheese. And the cheese. The cheese. 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 Yeah. Yeah, and I our... think the herring, right? Yes, yes. of course. I, have, yeah. I've never I don't like one. herring, but it's most of the... Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah. the Netherlands. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I never tried one before. Really? No. And you live in the Netherlands? Yeah. Yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, don't no. try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I'm a tourist here and we go to Amsterdam. Take me on a tour. It is start because you, you are start. from Amsterdam. You can start at my place next to Vondel Park. I love to walk around uh, through the Vondel Park, and next to Vondel Park you have. Um, I don't like like walking. You don't like to no, walk. I have high high heels. Then we can go <laughs> <laughs> by the tram or the metro, and or by bike. It's typical Dutch, so yeah. we go by yeah. bike. We yeah. go by bike. Yeah. Okay, and then. Um, and I want to go to a museum, Linda. Well, I would take you to the uh, Rijksmuseum because it has uh, a lot of uh, famous paintings from Vincent van Gogh and uh, Rembrandt van Rijn, uh, the Napo. That, that sounds a little bit Dutch. Yeah, it is Dutch, but I don't know if there is even a... It's, a, it's a, the artist is Dutch. Uh, it's a famous one, right? Yeah, w one of the bigger artists. One of the biggest, actually, uh, but I don't really know. Uh, I didn't learn anything about art except for Frans Hals, <laughs> 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 but uh, that's not a very interesting person. Um, and another great museum, uh, I think, is the Upside Down, which is like an Instagram museum, with, which would be yeah. perfect for you <laughs> 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 you love to take pictures. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think. Uh, but yeah. Alicia, where would you take me to which museum? Um, to which museum? Um, I don't know. There are, are a lot of museums I, heard I want about to Anne visit. Frank. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's. Uh, I have uh, never been uh, in that museum. Muse so and you also <laughs> have a museum in Amsterdam and it's with all famous people. Yeah, the oh, yeah, the Madame right. Tussauds. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I've been there once. It was they too. also have a scary... Don't you want to stand next to Brad Pitt? And say, yeah, Look at I made me. pictures. <laughs> 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 I have pictures. Yeah, I think it's pictures. maybe a little bit yeah. scary to stand next to someone who is alive. Uh, it's it's a, a subject there. Yeah. They it's look very cool. Yeah, yeah. The eyes yeah. are really, yeah. really, really impressive. Yeah. 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 And the Netherlands is a water country. It is. So where do you take me then? Through the canals. Yeah, by boat. take a cruise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By yeah. night? In December really? they have a yes. light festival, so that's also nice. In what is a light festival? Yeah, they do. have through the canals uh, some subjects and then you see a flower with light or different things oh, you can beautiful. see through yes. the bus. And you have also the sail. Amsterdam sail. Yeah, the Amsterdam sail. Yeah, yeah. With all the boats coming to Amsterdam, it's really lovely. Yeah. But we are here close to the water as well. Yeah. We are at Rotterdam. Rotterdam. Yeah, in Rotterdam. Yes. So tell me something special about Rotterdam. Uh, well, Rotterdam is actually a uh, harbour city. And it's actually uh, together with the Imshaven in Groningen, uh, two of the biggest uh, harbors in uh, the Netherlands for um, export and export. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for food and anything, yeah. And we also have a, a, a city which I adore, and that's Utrecht. Yeah. Oh. I've been born. Mm. Who can t take me on a tour there? Because I heard so much about it. Alicia. Uh, I don't know anything about that city. Uh, <laughs> so I have to take you to the place. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've been I'm raised in Utrecht. Oh, so oh I can sell more. Yeah. Uh, my father is uh, born there and my grandma. But in Utrecht you also have the kennels. Uh, and nice is to know that you can eat next to the kennels. Oh, in wow. Amsterdam it's not yes. possible, but in Utre Utrecht it is. So in the summer are the all the terraces are very fully crowded and you can also go by boat and you have the Dom Tower, it's also very famous, yeah, and a church next to it. So when you go upstairs then you have a nice view over Utrecht. I love the city, it's right. 
similar a little bit to uh, Amsterdam. Yes. The any, other, any other spots I should see around the Netherlands? You say, Katja, you have to go there. It's amazing. Harlem. Harlem? Yes. Tell me about Harlem. I was there two weeks ago with my boyfriend. And we also had a cruise with the boats. And oh, so you have camels it's there. very historic. You can see so much and it is very interested and there you can uh, shop there very good <laughs> <laughs> we are still women ladies and gentlemen shopping is on top of yes. the list all the time <laughs> yeah okay i keep that in mind thank you so much so thank you ladies this was about tourism and culture we are going to take a small break and be right back with the last team of today Thank you. Welcome back with Group 2 today in Rotterdam. Ladies, we are back and we have one last thing to talk about. And that's a lady you, I think, didn't know just until yesterday. Yes. Who is she? Uh, Alexandra New Davis is a, a writer, a traveler, a opera singer. Um, a feminist and she is born uh, 24 October in uh, Paris and she lives in 1924. Yes. Yeah, she was born in yeah. 1924. Okay. And she had a passion for one country in specific. Linda. Tibet. Yeah, was it Tibet or was Tibet. it Tibet? Yeah. Tibet. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what did she do with Tibet? Where is her passion coming from? She's the first woman who yeah. traveled inside yeah. yes. the forbidden Tibet yeah. that day. So she gets she, first. They were there. very brave to do that by yes. herself. So I inspire by her. Especially in those times. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like 100 years ago. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah. So what inspired you the most in this lady? Let's see, if you want it, you can do it. I think yes. that's yes. inspired. If you want it, there's always a way that you can do it. Make yeah. your dreams come true. Yeah. yeah. And what are your thoughts about her, Linda? Well, I think she's very brave for the, uh, going to Tibet. Um, but uh, the fact that I love more about her is that she just traveled anywhere she wanted to go from a young age. When she was 15, she uh, went to London over <coughs> <coughs> or England and uh, well she just went where she wanted uh, and left everything yeah. behind and yes. but what specific thing did she do she was married with Philippine and she uh, let, um, left, her man alone. left him alone because she wants to go to India and she was there she should tell him that she was there for 19 months but she was there for 14 years and she did one specific thing she writes a book she wrote books about tibet yes and she's an example, I guess, for us women that doesn't matter if you are women or men, you can do whatever you want and follow your dreams like we already said. Uh, and it's funny, my mother also went uh, for one month to Tibet by herself uh, when I was a child. I don't know what age anymore, but she did it also alone and she also wanted to go to Tibet. I think it's a magical place. But why did she go to India? Did you know? She met the... She went to India for one specific thing. She met the Dalai Lama. In Tibet. I was not in Tibet. She wanted to study something there. She the wanted to study Buddhism. Oh, Buddhism. Oh, really. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it was short she time was to, to read into it. Years. Yeah. yeah, but she went to India to study Buddhism. You didn't yes. read that? I read it. She yes. adopted a child over there. So yes. And then yeah. she traveled with him yeah. with him to Tibet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
And she met indeed the, the Dalai Lama. Lama. And another yeah. Lama, which is one below the Dalai Lama I read somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And what is that she taught you in this whole experience of meeting her and do some research? It is. What we... Uh, what, I, what do you mean, Axel? What have you learned? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Thought is learned. Yeah, I think uh, she is an example for me. Uh, I also love to travel and explore the world, so she's an example for me for that. Um, and also, uh, like with the women empowerment, she is an example for us all, for us all women. So I think that's the most important one for me. Did you ever heard of her before? No. 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 So what did she taught you, Fabienne? I think I agree with Iris uh, the most. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with Iris. I like, also like to travel the world, want to see the world, and I, um, if you want to do it, you can do it. If you want, yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're man or, or girl, you can go. Alicia, of course, you had another woman yes. to, to, <laughs> to experience, and that was Mary Curry. Yes, that's right. Tell us in short about um, her. Mary Curry uh, was a woman from uh, Poland, and uh, she went to Paris uh, to study uh, science, uh, mathematics, and uh, physics. Um, and she's, uh, she invented uh, radioactivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, we still use uh, radioactive uh, radioactive radiation um, in hospitals, and um, I think uh, we can yeah be thankful uh, to her that she uh, that she finds uh, this thing out. So um, I didn't know a lot of your uh, person, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, she, uh, what she did she nice. taught you, Mary Curry? Um, she taught me. Um, yeah, that everything is possible if you believe in yourself because yeah, she also was a woman and uh, in history that was, was normal that women went to school and went to uh, yeah, the university. Yeah, the university. university. Yeah. Um, and uh, she, she did it, she walked it. Um, uh, yeah, and that's because she believed in, in herself. Um, uh, she went to Paris uh, alone. Um, she was there uh, studying on something uh, Becquerel started, and uh, she she solved uh, a lot of things um, we we still use right now. And yeah, yeah. women empowerment. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It started years and ages ago, middle ages ago already. Mm. Already, so that's a good yeah. lesson for all of us, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was group three, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Go on YouTube and get them to know and get your votes done for them. Thank you. See you back later. Bye bye. 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 bye.